Hey guys, it's Dave Nerona with Columbia Sportswear. And today we're gonna talk about advanced climbing on your mountain bike. Advanced climbing means just that. You're gonna be moving into advanced terrain, which means you're gonna encounter rocks, roots, mud puddles, and the terrain is gonna turn steep. And when it turns steep, it's either gonna be muddy, wet, or dry and dusty. So there's lots of different things that you need to do to adjust your riding style to make it over all those obstacles. The number one thing is you need to have a good pedal stroke. What I aim for is somewhere in the middle so it's nice and easy. If you're pedaling too much and bouncing on your saddle, you're gonna be just doing that, bouncing all over the trail. If it's too hard, you're gonna run out of energy before you even make it to the obstacle. So one of my secrets is when the trail's easy, I go easy. When the trail's hard, that's when I give it a little bit of extra gusto to get over or around that obstacle. When you're encountering rocks or roots, you want to look ahead so you can make the decision whether you're going to go around them, whether there's enough room, or whether you have to make it over them. To make it around them, just make sure your movements are slow. And as the terrain gets steeper, you need to move your positioning a little bit lower. If you stay high, you'll lift the front wheel too high off the ground, it'll be light and you won't have any steering. By staying low means that your weight is still back so you get good grip off the rear tire, but you also have good steering and control in the front. When you wanna go up and over an obstacle, you need to actually build a little bit of momentum. So look for the great sticky ground. And when you're gonna go up over that route, just like you were gonna go, you were gonna go over a curb on the roadway, you use the front wheel, make it light, lift it up over that route, and then as you pedal over, shift your weight a little bit forward. What it'll do is lighten the back wheel and allow it to roll up onto the obstacle and then over. And one last thing to remember, don't spin too much when you get on that obstacle. If it's a wet log, you're just gonna spin out and fall over. By gradually increasing the power to your legs and over the obstacle and using your body weight, you won't spin out and you'll be on to the next one. That's how you climb effectively. We'll see you out there.